back to another video. So in this video, it's gonna be a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It is day two of the road to become professional. And Halloween is also coming up. So not only are we on the road to becoming a professional, we also are gonna figure out how you can survive the spooky nights, right? Halloween's coming up, you need to be prepared. Who's coming after you? Well, you'll see, coming up here in just a minute. So let's dive into it. And again, if you're watching this video, don't forget to subscribe. It's simple, you push a button, join me for the fun. Watch me become famous. while keeping a slight internal rotation feet forward for proper form and power and generation. So what we do is we get the band, put it under basically right below the big toe, push it down, externally rotate the knee, hold for five to 10 seconds. And then we repeat for three to five times. Try and remember, you learn a lot from Squat University. That's just shout out, it's not my idea. Unless it was, ooh, gasp. So we're going through the motions, kind of working on this. I did have Achilles tendonitis um, when I first started doing boxing training. I overdid it and got Achilles tendonitis because I'm a weenie. And so after getting that, everything got really tight and now ankle rotation and knee and hip are all fairly poor on the left side. So we're kind of rehabbing that as we work back through from the ground up, up the pyramid. So now that we've done that one last time, after this, we're going to do some 1990s, get the hips nice and open, and then we're going to get into a little bit of box and chain. And simple as that, don't you agree, do you? No? Okay. Well, you're wrong, I'm right. I'm the winner, you're the winner. Okay.
how fitness matters in a horror movie scenario. Um, you know, first off, you have the Sawyer's place, right? You and your buddy hanging out. Isn't that funny? I hit my head on the metal pole. Ha <laughs> ha, better. Uh, I mean, you and your buddy are, you know, hanging out at the Sawyer's place. And your buddy is on a meat hook, right? Ooh, scary. His fault. He was too slow. You work out. You're safe. Big brain. Big muscles. Strong legs. Fast buddy. So, he's hanging. What do you do in this case scenario? You know? You're like, oh no, Tom, why you out there? And he's like, help me, I'm hung on a hook. This hurts. And you're like, should have benched, should have benched more. Every day you bench. Don't do that, it's a bad idea. So he's like, help me, I skipped leg day. And so he's hung on the hook. What do you do? Okay, so first, grab him by the waist, right? Because you're strong. Lift with your legs, not your back. Even deadlift, a lot of it's the legs. Don't lift with your back. Grab around, lift him up. Get to some slack on the hook. Take off the hook. Carry him down. Say, come on, Tom. Let's go to the gym. You need to lift more. And then, the nice thing is, is you practice like a sandbag carry. So grab it. Up on the shoulder, keep him balanced. Now do some high knees. Okay, practice running with your friend. Do you want to save his life or not? Do you want him to die? You want him to die? No, because you're the friend who lifts. You're in charge. The stronger you are, the better the leader you will be. So, we've done a little bit of tweak. We've done a little bit of boxing that we have. We also went through a pro survival tip on how to save your friend Tom because he was at the soil tower and Tom got hung on a mayhem. So, we saved his life. He is now in the ER that he's getting well taken care of. Um, luckily, he only needed about eight staples and 58 stitches. But he'll survive. So he's gonna hit the gym tomorrow, ready to go, souped up on pre workout. He's a true champion. Give it up for Tom. Give it up for Tom. All right. So now we're gonna go into a rave of leg day. We're gonna start with some squats, which, sadly enough, is an exercise that I used to lack on as a kid because it wasn't cool. However, after becoming a personal trainer, I learned that I need to give them some TLC. And ever since then, I have, but with Achilles tendonitis, some other issues over the past couple of years, all excuses, but all true excuses at that. Um, I really haven't, my, my squat's embarrassing to me, but for full transparency, we'll bring you along for that. Um, it will get stronger, and this is just documenting the process to come back from the depths of, of uh, my own weakness. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that. And coming up here in a minute, I believe we'll have another How to Survive Halloween tip number two. All right, let's get into it. So after we left the Sawyer's place and we got Timmy Tom over to the ER and he was taken care of, we ended up at a little place called Cramp Crystal Lake. See what I said there? We all know what I'm saying over there. Yeah, don't we have to say it the right way. That's where we're at now. We all know who's there. So, what we have an issue with is he's walking around the campgrounds trying to find all the hoodlums. 
So you, you're running through the camp. You see a nice bush, but man, who's ever been down in a squat before, your legs get tired, right? So we have to train that. Because if you fall down, you'll make a noise. You'll rustle the leaves, break a branch. You can't do that, don't make noise. Find a nice neutral position with good form and stay down in it, don't make a noise. Don't do that. Kind of a mute point there. So first off, um, never unrack a squat bar backwards. You need to be able to see the racks when you go back in. However, for this example, I'm doing it for you because I care. So what we're gonna do is make sure our feet are placed in between the leaves, no sticks, don't make a noise. And we're gonna go down. We're gonna push those knees out, open up the hips. We're gonna sit down here, okay? Then we're gonna go back up because we need to practice. We need to practice a controlled down, okay? Control down, and then when he leaves, quick up, quick up, because you need to get out there quick. So remember, down, hold, keep those hips open. Don't make a noise. He's over there. He's gone. Let's go. Let's get out of the camp. Let's go. Hoo okay, that's it. Now that's how you survive Cramp Kistel Lake. Can't wait to go to the next place. Can Jason squat? I don't know. Scare water. Wimp. It's expired. We've camped. We've uh, we all. We've escaped Cramp Kistel Lake, and now we're on the run. We go through a small suburban town with lots of pumpkins, cause it's Halloween. And there's a fellow walking around with a big old kitchen knife. Dangerous. Ah, you're out and about. You're tying your shoe. And somebody starts walking up behind you. Mr. Uh, you know, wearing a mask with shake, 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 shake type going on, even though that's more of the base motel. But we haven't went there yet. So, this guy is walking up behind us in the shadows from the middle of the street, just trying to trick or treat because we've had a long day. You know, Timmy Tom, he's hurt. We nearly died at Camp Chris and Cramp Cramp at the camp. And now, Someone's sneaking up behind us. So how do we prepare for this to be our fittest and safest selves? Well, first, we need to pretend like we're tying our shoes. Oh no, I'm tying my shoes. We got the dumbbells, all right? So let's tie our shoes. Oh no, I hear a noise. Let's tie our shoes. Oh no, I hear a noise. What could I be doing? That's right, I'm getting strong. So I get pop up and see who's sneaking up. So I go, what, what? I see him. So I taunt him a few more times. Guess I need him. <laughs> now it burns, you're out of breath. So pretend you're already really anxious. I'm having a panic attack. 
This guy's standing behind you. What do you do? You run. You run. You tied your shoes. You're so strong. You popped up. You saw him. Like, no. You gotta run. You forgot the dumbbells on the ground. So you trip. You fall. And then sadly, because we didn't train for that not yet, we meet our fateful end. Now, it's how you survive Halloween night, part one out of three different tips. Now, you know, needless to say, there's other people to cover. Who else are we gonna survive? We got Nightmare Boy. We got, we got, we got tiny little people. We got toys that come to life. There's more that I can't think of right now. How do we survive all of them? I don't know. Maybe you should check out the next video. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I thought so. All right, time to get off the workout. But that was your third survival tip on how to survive Halloween night. You're welcome. Stay safe. Stay fit. On to the next workout. She's filming a day. Very honored to have you here. Thank you again. And uh, yeah, so we filmed today. Had a little bit of fun with it. Hopefully, you can some of these tips help you survive Halloween night. And on top of that, you learned a little bit about fitness. But again, this is my vlog day two of the road to becoming a professional. So thanks for joining along. If you've watched this far and you're not subscribed. You should. It makes you better than everyone else. So, again, thanks for coming along, seeing what I had to do. You know, I'm working through everything, kind of getting back to those levels that I was at, like, quite a while ago. Um, you can tell from my squats, weaker than they've been in a really, really long time. But, I'm getting back. And I'll be there before I know it. I'll be beyond it. I'll be past it. And I'll be doing some professional stuff. whole bunch of stuff I'm working on. Bring it to you soon. I'm trying to keep this entertaining, keep it fun. Um, so if you have any suggestions, anything you'd like to see, any questions about fitness or working out, exercises, form, goals, uh, nutrition, let me know down in the comments, and I'll do my best to get to you as soon as I can. Not, it's not going to be hard. My channel gets very few views, <sighs> so feel free to ask. Um, and we'll see you in the next vlog day or project. It depends on what we release next. So. See you in the next one, and as always, be great. Bye bye! I'm just copying other YouTubers at this point. <laughs>